have all four aces on the table. This is a brand new, with the world card and the higher self position, this is a brand new beginning. Hey there, Capricorn. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again. Oh, Capricorn. You know what time it is? It's time for your monthly. And for this month, I'm feeling that of abundance. And so I have an Angel of Abundance deck. First card out, Quiet Retreat, Capricorn. It's time to disconnect from your outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. This really speaks to me as a Capricorn Sun because I need my quiet time, especially with the five kids and whatever, because um, yeah, I need quiet time. I do. And I do take it. And when I don't, I can get snippy with them. I'm <laughs> just saying I'm a better mom when I take quiet time for me to, as an introvert, to really, you know, get my energy levels back up. Bottom of the deck. Words of abundance. Capricorn, this is what you are going to do in that quiet retreat, and that is you have the ability to instantly manifest as a Capricorn, you certainly do manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words, and that's what this channel is all about, Capricorn. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms, and that is what you'll attract for yourself and others. And just know that the powers that be don't want you to feel abundant. They want you to feel a sense of lack and without and inflation and gas prices and food prices and all the rest of it. They want you to feel lack like you can't, like you have to work hard or work longer. Nope. Capricorn, you are going to take a quiet retreat and really feel your abundance. Take a look at what you have and imagine what you want. I always imagine I want abundance for my children, success in whatever they'd love to do. And right now they're experiencing that, right? My oldest is leaving the house in September and going to school. And that's what he wants to do. He's excited about it, right? And so that's what this quiet retreat and the words of abundance is all about. That what you might not see is that you might be speaking words of abundance into the universe. And that's what the universe is presenting to you. So Capricorn, let's get to the tarot and see what messages the tarot has about this quiet retreat that Capricorn is going on. And that could just be in your own home. <laughs> I have the woods to walk, right? Get outside, build bird feeders, do something. So, get some wood into the house. All my wood is cut, stacked, and, and uh, I've got logs for next year that we're going to do in the summer. So, having said that, Capricorn, it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Ooh, what are you passionate about? First card out, Ace of Wands. Interesting, Five of Swords. This is this can be a determination card with win or lose way. Five of Swords is, I always see the Five of Swords as really talking mean to yourself, internal thoughts, internal negativity. And this is what crosses your passions. So let's say your passions are to play music and then your thoughts are like, you can't make any money with that Capricorn. You're not, you know, like Grammy. Eh, negativity, negativity. That's what this Five of Swords is about, being really mean to yourself. That's what's crossing this passion, higher self. That's coming to an end. This negative narrative is coming to an end for my Capis, for my Capricorn Collective, which I am so pleased to see. Focus and foundation is the Nine of Swords. This is again, worry. Can I make enough money to pay my bills off of this passion that I have? Maybe you love knitting or making soap. There's a lady down the road here out in Hundred Acre Woods that makes soap, and this is where we get our soap from. I absolutely love her. Nine of Swords. Are you stressed out about not having all that you want? Think abundantly, Capricorn. Not that of fear, but of abundance. Ooh, your home. The Four of Wands. You could be wanting to work from home, and this is where your passion is. Homestead, Tower, an Epiphany, or your company, uh, your your industry is coming down. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. 
This is how you see yourself, Capricorn. Ten of Wands is a lot of responsibilities. How other people see you as the Three of Pentacles, going smaller, going and working with those that, and collaborating with those that share your same passions. Hope and or fear. This is the Ace of Swords. This, you've got two aces on the table, Capricorn. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. This is clarity as to how to move forward and the potential outcome. Ooh, Capricorn, your Nine of Swords is turning into the Nine of Cups and your wishes are coming true and you might not even be aware of it. Or you might be. I mean, Capricorn, you're aware and that which you might not sleep. Oh, perfect. Slow and steady wins the race. Beautiful. Virgo energy. Mutable Earth. Where's Virgo in your chart? Because mutable earth is, is a beautiful energy of, yes, making decisions, putting a lot of thought into it, uh, showing up for yourself, Capricorn. This is the Knight of Pentacles shows up for himself. He's very deep and methodical, uh, pays attention to details before he takes a step forward. Ace of Wands, clarified by, ooh, the Ace of Cups. This feels very thick as if they're sticking together, but I guess not. Ace of cups is clarifying this is what you love to do capricorn this is why you need some quiet retreat time to figure out what it is that you love to do my grandmother used to say that if you do what you love you don't work a day in your life and the high priestess capricorn this is really tapping into the depths of your soul your your mind's eye what your soul sees for you moving forward oh for some of you Speaking words of abundance is going to really affect influence. I'm going to say influence a lot of people to see through the veil, to see how they have been slaves in their own lives, corporate slaves, mm. and the world. Now this quiet retreat, it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts, High Priestess here, and feelings, Ace of Cups, from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Capricorn. The world card is clarified by, yes, indeed, the Hermit card. I, I knew he was going to show up going deep within. Absolutely. And the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm going to put this Hermit right above this High Priestess. The High Priestess is quiet about what she's discovering, going Hermit deep, and the ending, it could be of a friendship group. Um, but I really see, especially above the Ace of Cups, this is filling your cup up first and then attracting those that have already got full cups. Um, attracting your soul tribe. It could be um, other souls that either see if you're if you're online um these could be souls that see you that maybe listen to your podcast that visit your website that um whatever whatever services that you are offering products and services that you maybe uh create and make at home here with the four of wands and i'm really feeling i know the world card is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one but this is you speaking to the world this is you the words of wisdom and love and companionship and and soul connections this is your higher self is saying capricorn you need to bring this to the world whatever this means to you and you're stressed out about it with the nine of swords knight of swords taking action and these are messages. Ooh, and there you are, Capricorn. There you are. You're looking into the future and what you're planning on. And, and it's interesting that it's stressed. You're stressed out with the Nine of Swords, that you worry about this. You worry about a new beginning, maybe the ending of something that you've outgrown. But this Ace of Wands is your passion. So what are you stressed out about? Communicating with this Knight of Swords. These are messages of the mind. Right below the High Priestess and the Hermit, you could be worried about expressing what it is that you have found deep within. Oh, Capricorn. And sharing it with others. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. 
Don't be afraid of expressing your truth. There's going to be people that disagree with you, absolutely. There's going to be people that, ah, for whatever reason, troll you. And that's a thing that I don't even like to sort of mention on this channel because then I'm calling it in, that's what I feel. I, I really want this channel, to, but I also want to speak the truth, right? And so there are negative energies, there are polarities all through this world, but we are connected. So my grandmother used to say um, that when someone pops into your head, just randomly, maybe someone from your past, maybe someone even just across town pops into your head, you can be sure that they're thinking of you. She just used to say that. She was a Pisces Sun Capricorn Moon. Um, I thought that always very interesting. So I always had positive thoughts because I didn't want my thoughts to be negative and then, then them know about it, right? Like, again, I was very, I was a very imaginative child. And so I kept a lot of, and it, it's sort of that old saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, say nothing at all. And uh, so when then she told me about this, I'm just like, oh no, can I not think it? I went through a very dark time, Capricorn. I know about stress. I know about the nine of swords. I know about how mean I can be to myself with the five of swords, how critical I can be. There's something to be said about constructive criticism and then just what I call destructive criticism. And that is when you really break yourself down. And for what? Um, so this is you taking care of your stress. This is you taking care of your thoughts. This is you expressing what it is that you have learned through the high priestess and the hermit and really expressing it into the future. And for some of you, if you are influencers, if you got a large following, you could really break down a lot of the negative narrative, a lot of the negative narrative with words of abundance and that which you might not see. Four of wands in the recent past, coming to an end. I really see this Ten of Swords. For some of you, you could have lost your home and or be moving from a home or moving out of a home. It, this is just reading the cards, but I read this card, this particular card, and this particular deck is negative thinking. So this could be you being negative about, oh, I don't wash my floors enough. Oh, I need to paint. Oh, and I, I know all about it. Oh, I need to tidy up, but I am focusing in on this new passion, this new love that I have. I'm meditating you know, this type of thing. So this could mean something to you where you're really hard on yourself and your house is perfect. Your house is like absolutely spotless and you're still hard on yourself about how you keep your home. Capricorn, come on now. And the strength to see through this negative thinking. And the strength card is really looking into this Ace of Cups as I see it, looking into that Ace of Cups and really saying, okay, have the, the strength and the courage and the bravery to love yourself, love your home, love your family, love your passions, what it is that you love to do, Capricorn, and you never work a day in your life. Ooh, Capricorn, let's see what this tower is in the near future. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. King of Pentacles is a Taurus. Now, this could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I'm really feeling fixed Taurus right here. This is the big bull. Taurus energy. Is some Taurus going to come into your life and it's going to just absolutely break down, break you down, Capricorn? Let's find out. I see this as an investor. He sees your potential with the Four of Pentacles, because I see this Four of Pentacles as really focusing in on, these could be, for some of you, different channels. This could be different projects. Now, if you would just want to read the cards on the surface level, um, when I have a king and a queen here, a king and a queen is a married couple, a tower, a divorce, and you're holding on to that financial um, stress of, and, and that is what a divorce, a divorce can, and can put you through financial distress. I understand this. And that's just the surface. And, that, and if that resonates for some of you, trust me, I've been through a divorce and it's difficult. It really is. But this is where you rely on yourself. You become resourceful and you communicate what it is that you need. Now, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling this is, this could be a new uh, investor or, um, I'm just feeling investor that sees what it is that you're creating with this Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups as 
he sees the value in it. And he sees that it can first, as I said, when I first saw this tarot card, it can go viral. So, heavy burdens. You see yourself as burdened and looking into the future with the Three of Wands and that Ace of Pentacles. See how I said that? That these are different channels. These are different products. These are different services. Um, and it could be information about how to make your money grow, how to make your, your investments grow, how to, because again, these two, th this masculine and feminine of the earth, king and queen of pentacles, there's a lot of foliage. And when I see that, I really feel gardens growing. Um, and, and this has just been in the readings as of late. I see um, a lot of like greenhouses and learning about plant, plant energies, plant medicines. And this has just been recently since I've been using these cards that I've been really feeling this, seeing it. And, and I'm, the, I'm a, an audience, clear audience, where I hear things. I don't really see a lot of things. And that, this is something that I'm developing as a reader. I'm, see, I'm starting to see things. <laughs> and there's no shrooms involved. I'm just saying, like, I'm starting to see things. And so, and it's through the cards. I just have to say that. And so I see a lot of growth. And growth, I mean, physical, actual plant growth. And so are you learning about plant medicine, Capricorn? Are you providing, um, again, services, opportunities, healing services, opportunities, information with the Four of Pentacles that are going to bring, ooh, did I just heard, bring down big pharma. Ooh, Capricorns out there who are watching. Ace of Pentacles is how you see yourself. And the, the, the heavy burden I almost feel has got is of this tower of the near future, you could probably see that the information that you have the practical, I'm feeling practical information that has been lost through that of convenience. It's putting, it's like you feel the weight of the world on your shoulders with this card right here, Capricorn. How other people see you. They want to collaborate with you with this Three of Pentacles, Capricorn. Interesting. They see you as holding on to empty cups. It could be from a tower and then leaving. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I, other people see you as having once held on to empty cups, seeing your potential, loving yourself first, seeing, because we've got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and now the Ace of Pentacles, and walking away from empty cups. And look at all these empty cups. Capricorn, this is beautiful. Ace of Swords. This is just like the Leo read. Capricorn. And I just realized it now. You have two aces from two different decks, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords from the original, what I call main deck. Clarifier deck, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn. You have all four aces on the table. This is a brand new, with the world card in the higher self position, this is a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning of truth, of manifesting, of passion, and your soul's purpose and love. And when your card says words of abundance, Capricorn, this is exactly what I see, Ace of Swords. You are getting caught up, caught up in your head. The truth of the, the this is the truth, Capricorn. The truth is you are getting caught up in your head with this Five of Swords and this anxiety of the Nine of Swords and you feel that your hands are tied when really emotions Walk away from empty cups. Walk away from this negative thinking. Capricorn, ooh, and this is all online, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is all online. I kind of felt that with this tower. That something that you are creating, your passion, your love, your practical application and truth is online and your wishes are gonna come true, Capricorn. Your wishes are coming true. Look at this, the sun. And it's funny because I think it was the Leo read that had all four aces, Capricorn. And holding the high, taking the higher ground. That which your wish is coming true, taking the higher ground. Oh, Capricorn, this is beautiful. That which you might not see and clarifying the Knight of Pentacles and there is that 
queen of swords. She is the communication queen. She is the speaker and protector of the truth. She is the one, Aquarius. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Wherever those energies, zodiac signs, uh, wherever that is in your chart. Aquarius is in my third house, being a Scorpio rising, which is the communication house of Gemini. Interesting, isn't it? This Queen of Swords is slowly thinking very deeply with the Hermit and the High Priestess about how it is that she is going to express, and we have this, words of abundance. And it could be on a channel, it could be on a podcast, it could be whatever you've got going on online, your social media platforms. This Capricorn son only has YouTube. I only have YouTube. I don't do TikTok. I don't, I don't even have the apps um, of Facebook or Instagram or, or Snapchat, any, a Discord. My kids keep talking about Discord, whatever that is. I think it's just a texting thing. I have no idea. But whatever you put online, oh Capricorn, also know that it's feeding into the AI and we need to balance out all that has been fed into the AI. I just have to say this. I don't know why it's coming through a Capricorn read, but I just have to say that whatever it is that you're putting out there, please make it positive because it, we need to balance out the negativity that the AI has, that the AI is going is basically been trained and learned how to kill humans. I think we need to learn how to love humans and that's how we need to love ourselves first and then those around us. So having said that, the words of abundance really speaks to me, Capricorn, and with this with this Queen of Swords here, this is you taking that intellect, that intelligence, and speaking love into the world with all four aces on the table, Capricorn. Go look at that Leo read, if that's the case, because all four aces in that read came out of one deck. You've got them split between two decks. So let's get some angel numbers on this. I see four, five, nine. Let's do four, five, nine. Four, five, nine, Capricorn. Your angels are encouraging you. Prepare for miracles. Oh, I'm ready for it. Two, one, five, Capricorn. Two, one, five. Two, one, five. I almost did. I almost did two, five, one. So I'm going to read that one. Your angels are encouraging you to trust in the guidance that is rising up within you. It is divinely led, and that's the Hermit and the High Priestess right there. And that was two, five, one. That's my dyslexia speaking. So now I'm going to go to do two, one, five. That's the last one, Capricorn. Two, one, five. You are in a space to overcome your fears with this Nine of Swords, Five of Swords. Absolutely, Eight of Swords. Have faith. You are moving through this in order to move up, Capricorn, into the abundance that you imagine. And that's what I see for you, Capricorn. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.